Here's how we're going to get the Federal Reserve Bank to stop funding climate destruction. First, the problem. U.S. banks have collectively funneled $1.2 trillion into fossil fuels in the past five years since the Paris Agreement. This is the money that keeps corporations like Exxon, Shell, and BP alive. And big banks aren't going to stop financing climate chaos on their own. They've told us that quite clearly. We're going to need oil and gas for a long time. We should lend to those companies to help make progress faster rather than divest from them. So there's a very direct economic connection, which if banks such as JP Morgan don't change their practices, ultimately it's very poor business over the longer term. Now, the solution. There is a way we can stop them. And it's the U.S. Federal Reserve's job to do it. The Federal Reserve System, or the Fed, is the referee of the economy. It was created to regulate the economy for all the people. Not only do they have the legal authority to make fossil fuel finance less desirable and possibly set limits on financing of those fuels, it's their responsibility. Climate chaos is a disaster for all of us, including our economy. But under the current leadership of Chairman Jerome Powell, the Fed is failing on climate. But instead of supporting black, brown, and indigenous communities hit hardest by the climate crisis and COVID-19, Powell's Fed bailed out the planet-killing fossil fuel industry to the tune of billions. Oil and gas corporations aren't suddenly going to stop fracking and drilling because it's the right thing to do. It's going to take the full weight of the climate movement pushing the Fed in order to stop them. Please sign the petition and share this video.